Hi students, in the previous lecture we have seen what are complex numbers, how to represent them in the organ plane, what are some of the very basic operations on complex numbers and what is modulus and arguments. Now in the second lecture we are going to study about some of the very important properties of arguments. We are going to see the geometrical meaning of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of complex numbers. Then we are going to study about the famous Timov-Ray's theorem and the Coney's rotation formula and we are also going to see the sectional formula for the internal and external division of complex numbers. In a previous lecture we have defined what is an argument of a complex number. Now let's see some of the very important properties of arguments. The first is argument of z1 into z2 is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 plus 2k pi where k is equal to 0 or 1 or equal to minus 1. Thus if we have got two numbers z1 and z2 then the argument of z1 into z2 is equal to argument of z1 plus argument of z2 plus 2k pi where k is equal to 0 or 1 or minus 1. The second is argument of z1 by z2 is equal to argument of z1 minus argument of z2 plus 2k pi where k is equal to 0 or 1 or minus 1. So if we have got two complex numbers z1 and z2 then the argument of their division that is z1 by z2 is equal to argument of z1 minus argument of z2 plus 2k pi. The third is argument of z conjugate is equal to minus of argument of z. So if z bar represents the conjugate of a complex number z then the argument of z conjugate is equal to minus of argument of z. The fourth is argument of z by z conjugate is equal to 2 times argument of z plus 2k pi where k is equal to 0, 1 or minus 1. So if z is a complex number then z bar would be its conjugate. So if we divide z by z bar then we get another complex number and the conjugate of this complex number would be equal to 2 times the argument of z plus 2k pi where k is equal to 0, 1 or minus 1. The fifth is argument of z to the power of n is equal to n times argument of z plus 2k pi where k is equal to 0 or minus 1. So if we have a complex number z then the argument of z to the power of n is equal to n times the argument of z plus 2k pi. The sixth is argument of z2 by z1 is equal to theta then the argument of z1 by z2 would be equal to 2k pi minus theta where k is an integer. So if we have the argument of z2 by z1 equal to theta then the argument of z1 by z2 would be equal to 2k pi minus theta where k is an integer. The next property is if the argument of z is equal to 0 then z is a real number. So argument represents the inclination of z with respect to the real number. So if this argument is equal to 0 then z lies on the real axis and so z becomes a purely real number. So these are some of the very important properties of arguments and you will find these properties are very much similar to the properties that we use in logarithms. So remembering them is quite easy. Let's solve an IT problem that appeared in 2000 and which is based on the concept of argument of complex numbers. This problem says that if argument of z is less than 0 then the argument of minus z minus argument of z is equal to option number a is pi, option number b is minus pi, option number c is minus pi by 2 and option number d is pi by 2. So here we have an IIT problem in which it is given that if the argument of z is less than 0 then we have to find out the value of argument of minus z minus argument of z and we have been given the four options. 